insane. What is he doing? Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. It's a big guard. Oh my god. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're out here at the Hillsboro River again. I'm um, just looking for some gar or maybe some catfish would be nice. I was out here the other day and a guy that was fishing said he caught a channel catfish. So that's enough for me. I brought some uh, chicken livers and some night crawlers. We got three rods out right now and we're going to move to a few different good spots that I know of. Uh, it has been raining on and off all day today, which I'm going to take as a good thing other than getting soaking wet. Um, it's going to cool down the water a little bit and it because it's been about 90 degrees lately and the fish just don't bite around here when it's that hot. So hopefully on this cool day, we can snag something for dinner. Insane, what is he doing? Oh, he stopped. All right, so that was weird. The giant alligator like called out to the little alligator, which what isn't even that little, it's probably like six feet. The little alligator went over there and they both left together like they're just going somewhere. Very weird, they just left like, hey, come over here, now we're gonna leave. All right, so I spent a little time at the first spot, which was at a park right down the road from here and uh, didn't really catch anything. There was nothing there. Some stuff was messing with my bait, but it was mostly just, I think, alligators and turtles that were there. Um, and it was pretty hot and now it started raining, so it's cooling down. I moved to a new spot. It looks a lot better than the old spot so far. Um, I'm just gonna wait for it to kind of stop raining before I get out there. Check this out, guys. If you've never seen this right here, those are apple snail eggs. I actually found one over here that you can see. Where'd he go? Oh man, I crushed him, what the? <laughs> Anyways, this was a uh, piece of one and it's just a shell. Something's eating the snail out of it. But these things get to be the size of your hand, like a big, huge snail. And if you, you haven't been to Florida or you have never seen one, that's what that is. Um, they're everywhere. All the eggs they lay in this little area right here and uh, they, they lay them all in the marsh, on the wood, on the trees. They're all back there. And it's an invasive type of snail. Um, I'll see if I can find a better one so I can show you right now. And they're huge, but luckily all the birds around here do a pretty good job of eating them. There we go, there we go. Come on, take it, take it, take it. Let me do it. I don't care what it is. Come on, come on, come on. What is this? I need more drag here. <laughs> oh, there we go, boys. That's what's been messing with this freaking uh, chicken liver the whole time right there. Channel catfish, I guess. Cool. Oh, it's a brown bullhead catfish, as you can see right there. Open season, baby boy. Presently, there is no closed season for the species in these waters. Additional regulations. No minimum size, no bag limit. All right, that's enough for me. Let's go. That's dinner, baby boy. Okay, pliers would help. All right, let's go ahead and get him off the hook. Hopefully he didn't swallow it, which it looks like he swallowed it. So that sucks. Oh well, I'm not gonna mess with that. Cut the line. There you go, guys. Not bad at all. Big fat boy. There we go. He's slippery as heck. He's going in the cooler. He's almost as big as a cooler. Look at that. That's that catch and release in the grease, baby. Uh, we're actually using chicken gizzards. I think I might have said chicken livers earlier, but... 
These chicken livers, I mean, <laughs> I just said it again. These chicken gizzards seem to work really good um, for catfish and they stay on the hook. I don't like using livers because they don't stay on the hook for me. And I'm, I know there's ways around that, but I'm a big fan of these gizzards and I've caught gar on them too. So that's another thing that might be out here. It's one reason why I brought this really big rod. This is the one with the night crawler. Something's yanking at it. Hasn't gone under yet though. There it goes, there it goes. No! I think he got off, bro. Yeah, he definitely ate the entire bait off there, so I don't know what that was, but... Try again. All right, guys, well, it did start raining pretty hard, and of course now it stopped, but check this out. I'm in the freaking uh, luxurious cabin, you know, zero dollars per night right here. This park it has so many, like I was saying, so many places to fish. They got this little, like both of these little um, coverings. There's one down there on the other end of this pier and you can just cast out. There is a gigantic like 11 foot alligator right there. But anyways, this should be a good spot. Hopefully we can grab one or two more catfish and stay dry while it's pouring rain. Cause I got soaking wet getting back to the truck and, and moving over here. But I got a good feeling about this spot and I just saw a gar jump out of the water next to that alligator. So, uh, Let's get on some more fish. All right, guys, we may or may not have something on this rod over here, so I gotta run. I can't tell. It just did a funny thing, like jerking around, and then it stopped, so I don't know. Looks like maybe. Sometimes you can't tell if there's a catfish on here because it just like jerks it once and it lays down. I don't know what they do. Uh, something might have taken off with it, but no such luck as far as hooking him. All right, guys, look like we're getting something on the bobber. Now I got to run back over to the other shelter. Come on, take it. Something's messing with it. It's it's flipping up, up and down and just swallow it, bro. Swallow it. Yeah, he's still messing with it. I got to go back over there. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. That's a big gar. That's a big gar. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, I just saw his mouth come out of the water and it's a big one, boy. Oh god. Oh, he's right next to me. <laughs> wow. Alright, now I gotta not get him wrapped up. Hopefully you guys can see this. Oh. Uh He's going to get wrapped up regardless. All right, are we going to have to flip or die? Are we going to have to flip or die? That's the question. Yes, it looks like we're going to have to flip or die. Come on, baby. Oh my god, guys. Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my god, look at that gar, guys. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. Wow. He is not moving, which means he's going to whip that mouth around. Look at that mouth. Look at that freaking mouth. That's a nice one, boys. I don't even think I'm going to put him back. I think I'm going to keep him for dinner. I only had one catfish, so we'll add him to the dinner plate. Nice fish. Not a bad day after all. We got our big old gar for dinner. Oh, and he's flipping. I think that the catfish is definitely gonna be better tasting than the gar. Um, those gar, everybody says they're not good. And then there's other people that say they're delicious if you know how to clean them right. 
so we'll go ahead and figure out how to clean them right and I'll see you guys back at the house. Big fish, huh? Is it in the truck? Yeah, it's in the truck. Ray Ray loves the fish. Look at this, guys. This thing is massive. Look at these teeth on that joker. Oh uh, my god. I'm a, I didn't even put my hands anywhere near that thing. Shark teeth. Shark teeth. Oh yeah, dang. I am not gonna touch that at all. Look at the, uh, the scales and the uh, the spots on him. It's and the white. big tail, those nice spots, it's pretty fish. Is that, is that, is that alligator bite? Alligator bite, yeah, it does. It's bigger than you, Ray Ray. Look at these big scales though, check this out. Super hard, you cannot really cut through that. So I got scissors, pliers, two knives and a knife sharpener, so wish me luck. All right, so, so far I cut down the back with these scissors, which is actually extremely hard to do, even though those are pretty strong scissors. And now I just need to separate the meat. You can see in there how white it is. It looks delicious once you get past all this armor. So all the way down, I'm gonna cut right here. Basically just peel it away like, like this. It's very tough and hard to do right now, but I'm gonna peel it off and then we'll have this giant strap on both sides of the fish. Check this out guys, that's one filet off that fish. I kind of butchered the end here, but that's okay. This, uh, that's a lot of meat, just one side, and we still got the other side to do. It doesn't even stink or anything. It's like very white. It smells like a pond kind of, but other than that, it doesn't stink. There's two more things I wanted to show you with this fish before I do the other side. Right here, as you can see, all you do is just peel back this, like a big old, just a compartment, just and all the meats inside there, and we got it all out. And then check this out, something I noticed that I thought was fish poop and was not. This fish was in process of digesting someone's leader line. This is fishing, I thought this was fish poop. This is um, leader line coming out of his back end here and it's stuck in their goods. So I am assuming that on the other end of this line, there's probably a hook somewhere in him, which is insane. These fish are so tough. Uh, I was probably not the first person to catch him or he successfully cut the line on somebody and swallowed it. That's crazy. That's like 20 or 30 pound leader line just coming out of him, insanity. All right, he's all cleaned up now. <laughs> we got him hollowed out for sure, man. And um, that's the bullhead catfish. Actually, not terrible size, honestly. All right, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for, we got the river monster on the chopping block and we're getting ready to fry him up. Um, two of the fillets are pretty big, so I'm going to go ahead and cut them down to size. I already felt for any bones. We got no bones in there, which is great. That was um, pretty easy fish to clean once you get past all the armor. So that was pretty surprising. One thing that I really want to find out is, <laughs> and we're going to find out in just a moment, if it's any good. Um, a lot of people, especially old timers, say that the gar is poor quality eating. It's, it's gross. It's a trash fish and so on, um, but we're about to find out. The meat looks really good. It doesn't smell like anything bad. So I'm excited to fry it up. Let's just go ahead and get to it. Like literally look at this meat right now. We got um, this big one right here I'm gonna cut up, this one right here, the small one, and then this is the catfish right here, that bullhead catfish that I got. Not bad, man, not bad, not bad at all. All right, so basically this one is good. That's good size right there. We'll throw it in the pile. This one, I might cut it into three pieces. There's one. Look at the inside of that meat. That is crazy, bro. It looks like tuna almost. Except for the red color, you know. This one, maybe three or four pieces. Let's see here. There's one. Maybe just like that. We got that New Orleans fish fry right here. That good stuff, if I can open it. And we're just gonna do the old shake and bake method, put it all into this container. And then we'll throw our fish in here. Okay, and then we need to put the lid on and just shake it up. All right, now that we got that all shaken, not stirred, we got the hot oil, that is Crisco. I found that frying this type of fish 
in Crisco is usually the best outcome. Don't know why, don't ask me. Ask Crisco. And the oil is not super hot because I don't really want to burn the breading. But it is probably about 350 if I had to guess. I'm going to try to put it all in here at once if possible. If it'll all fit. Looks like it will. I think that was it. So this fish had been marinating in just whole milk for 24 hours. Um, so I think that'll help kind of make it taste a little better. Um, I really don't know what to expect as far as the taste to start with, but usually when you soak it in milk, it just helps uh, take a little bit of that dirty water taste away from it, which in any of these rivers or ponds around here, I think you might have that taste um, with catfish or gar or whatever you're catching basically. So while that's cooking, I heard yesterday that gar has the consistency of like chicken or gator and not really like fish, which is pretty cool. Um, pretty weird, but we're about to find out really if that's good or good thing or bad thing. Um, I've lately, I've been wanting to get an alligator to cook for you guys, but I don't necessarily know how to do that legally. I found a couple places where you can just buy them, which wouldn't be as cool as going and getting our own but maybe we'll do that pretty soon. We're gonna hit it with a little bit of that slap your mother right there. That stuff is delicious. It literally looks f and feels like chicken or alligator, however you wanna call it. Uh, let's see if we can get one piece of the catfish and one piece of the gar to start. And we got some uh, baked beans and some potato salad on the side. You know what I'm talking about? We're going in with no sauce or nothing. Definitely cuts like chicken. Look at that right there. Definitely smells like a little bit like fish. Definitely weird at first. Okay. It texture is definitely alligator, not chicken. It's like if you've ever had alligator tail, this is this is it. It's very chewy. Like not like a fish type of chewy, like like gator chewy. Pretty good, not bad. Doesn't really have a specific taste to it, but definitely chewy. Texture 100% like alligator. See, that makes me wonder why people say it's bad. Like it doesn't taste like, it doesn't taste bad. Maybe they just don't like the texture of it. I think that's the closest thing to alligator you can get without actually eating alligator. So that's interesting. So we got that catfish on deck too. Catfish looks like catfish, you know. I would say that the texture of the catfish is way better. The texture of the catfish is like spot on, delicious cornmeal fried catfish. And it also doesn't have any fishy taste to it, which is good. The gar definitely would take some getting used to because it's like, you know you're not eating alligator, but it feels like you're eating alligator which is definitely just weird to get used to. I feel like if you grilled this, maybe like blackened kind of, with some like steak seasoning, that would be insane. I feel like frying it probably wasn't the best choice and I knew that going into it. And I, if I was going to catch this again and fry it, I would cut it into nuggets like basically alligator tail nuggets and do it that way. Just the presentation and texture that way might be better than like chicken strips style. But at the same time, can't complain about the taste. Just such a crazy texture for a fish. I think if I had some people over and cut that up into little nuggets and told them it was an alligator, they wouldn't be able to tell the difference if they had alligator before. But one thing about alligator is occasionally you'll get that little nugget that's like gross, it tastes like lizard, I don't even know, it's just not good, alligator. Occasionally, you'll get those gross little nuggets. With this, I haven't gotten that yet. It's just all white, delicious meat. Pros and cons to it, for sure. But yes, I, I would do it again. I might actually do it again pretty soon, 
Um, I won't be throwing any gar back that are keepers. I'll be keeping those from now on. So we learned something today. River monster is delicious. Ray Ray, you want some of this fish? Here, try that. It's good. You wanna try it? Uh -uh. You don't wanna try it? It's daddy's fish. You try it now? Uh -uh. All right guys, final thoughts. What do you think about the gar? Do you think you would eat it? You think you would try it? Do you think that um, I should catch some more different types of river monsters and try those out? Comment down below what we should do a catch and cook with. Something crazy, make it wild, we'll do it of course. I'm gonna get some people down here to uh, help me eat the rest of this fish and then we're gonna wrap it up for tonight. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out and I will see you guys in the next one.